like I said, we had plenty of good action throughout the day. This is the start of sin innings. Saim really was in good touch. So was Sharjil. Any width was punished severely. Sharjil in typical belligerent mood. Saim Azyub was matching him for shot for shot. As timing was sublime at times. Sharjil effortless, not all power. But that wicket signaled a comeback for Balochistan. Puram Shahzad with the breakthrough. Sharjil continued for a little longer. So he got that life, but he couldn't capitalize on that opportunity. Sharjil. That contest between Sharjil and Yasir was pretty good. Sharjil's 50 came in quick time as usual. But that probably was the turning point. An excellent take by Ayas to Sabur. Saw the back of Shirjil Khan. Since then, the same inning started. Surpraz Ahmed didn't know what hit him. Kashi Bhatti cleaned him up. Puram Manzur kept the fight going. Very stubborn 50. Up until that time, you are finding the boundaries quite regularly. Puram Manzur brought up his 50. They were well in the hunt. Khan, it started. Run rate was building. Spinners were getting a hold on these younger middle order batsmen. Taha was the first one to succumb to that pressure. Marabin Yusuf, after that hand injury, was still trying his best. But this was the moment of the day for Balochistan in the field. Yasir Shah, airborne, took the catch. What was expected of Umair? It brought about one ramp, but one too many in the end. Skipper Mir Hamza, by that time it was a lost battle pretty much. Him and Sohail Khan tried, but that run out of Sohail Khan. Once again signaling some fantastic work in the field from Balochistan. And Imran Butt was at the forefront of most of it. Catching was very neat. But Tanas of Shafiq joining in on the fun. Like I said, we had a fantastic day of cricket here at Multan Cricket Stadium. We've seen plenty of action.